So I haven't made any videos yet about the whole Elon Musk taking over Twitter thing because honestly, it's a developing story and we're going to see uh, how it's all going to pan out. Um, I I was locked out of my Twitter account for seven days for calling somebody a bitch uh, when the whole thing was going down. So I come on and I was like, okay, well, let's see how Twitter is. And I, I posted one tweet and within like five or ten minutes, there was a dude replying to me. And in his bio, his pronouns were the N word, and I'm like, okay, this is uh, this is this is this is Elon's new uh, <laughs> new new social media platform. That's wow, okay, fuck, all right, well, whatever. But anyway, so like a lot of stuff's happening, and uh, Elon's firing a bunch of people because he can't afford it anymore. He's trying to get people to like pay a bunch of money. Uh, in order to even get verified. It's just, it's a fucking mess, and it's going to be hilarious to see how it falls apart. But, but, apparently, the rhydoids are a feudin'. They're a feudin' uh, about uh, some of the decisions uh, Mr. Musk uh, has been, uh, been, been making, and uh, the quartering is going to fill us in. So here we go. Oh boy. What the fuck is this shit? You were the chosen one! It was said you would destroy the leftists, not join them! Wow, that is cringe as fuck. Wow, 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 that is cringe as fuck. Holy shit. Oh my god. Let's bring balance to Twitter! I'll leave it in darkness. Jeez, and they say the left can't meme. What the fuck, guys? Is he drunk? Is he drunk? You were the chosen one. Oh. I'm thinking maybe. Also, kind of weird to want to stand for a guy to be the chosen one when... Uh, I'm just, you know, I'm just, there's this, you know, this, uh, there's, you know, uh, mm. Also, Ghislaine Maxwell had some nice tits. Anyway, uh, here we go. Elon. Elon. You gonna talk to Elon? There's a particular Twitter thread today that, uh, has everybody, in particular pundits on the right, absolutely uh -huh. melting down. It's got me pretty frustrated because it seems like nobody, none of these people have ever worked in a corporation or worked in one through a tr work transition. And just so, you know, in full transparency, I actually have. Oh, your corporation, your coffee brand co coffee corporation, <laughs> your fake fucking coffee corporation. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe he actually did work for a corporation or something like that. Um. <laughs> Okay. We've been through acquisitions and uh, nowhere near the size of Twitter's 8,000 employees. Not anymore. Seems like a lot of people really pissed off that, um, you know, Elon didn't march in the front door Friday at 5 p.m. having never seen a single line of code and made uh, enormous changes and undid all the wrongs that have happened over the years. Undid all of the wrongs that happened over the years. Okay. All right. Well, hey, man, I there's like five Twitter accounts of mine that I, I wouldn't mind getting back. You know, that'd be cool. I'd be down. Oh, no. <laughs> there we go. I believe that he still will. But this tweet thread uh, is concerning. But I think mm -hmm. I can explain why I understand why people are mad and upset and blackpilled uh -huh. because uh -huh. free speech advocates such as myself have been taking absolute L after L after L. True. It's glad that you remind us of this because it's pretty fucking awesome. Also, if the right is melting down right now, I would love to see some more uh some more of your uh some more of your your uh your thumbnails with the with the crying uh the crying woman from, you know, five, six years ago. Yeah, that'd be great. It's not like you don't at least do one of those a day, <laughs> but do it for your side this time. But I really think that people are not looking at the big picture here. And, They're um, being mad to pop at Elon. And, 
I guess you can be the judge. Mm. Here it is. So Yol Roth, where if you watch my first video today, this this guy is easily the the most hated individual at Twitter. The, everyone wants him gone. Um, and if you want to know why, watch my first video today. I think there's a fair argument for replacing him. I'm not saying fire him for sure, but you know, take him out of this role. Oh, uh, cancel culture. Jeremy's embracing cancel culture because Yol Roth uh, says things that he does not like. Damn. Talks about you know election stuff. So Elon replies to Yol saying, talk to several society leaders. Civil society leaders. Um, including this guy of the ADL, uh, this person, Yell Einstadt, also at the ADL, which is, you know, basically a censorship bully organization these days, in my opinion. <laughs> Rashada Robinson, um, J Jessica Gonzalez, co CEO of Free Press. Basically, a lot of leftist organizations and pro censorship people, people like the NAACP, mm. and then like BoomerCon, George W. Bush presidential, you know, a bunch of terrible people. <laughs> <laughs> he should have been speaking to based Groiper Chad 69, you know, like talk to the people, Elon. <laughs> Establishment people that. <laughs> really, why is Elon? People are saying, why in the heck is Elon talking to these losers? I understand that. He then makes things kind of worse by continuing and saying, Twitter will not allow who was deplatformed for violating Twitter rules back on the platform until we have a clear process for doing so, which will take at least a few more weeks. Okay. Okay. So he's hanging out with uh with with the leftoids. Ooh, those people so so uh not not qualified for their jobs, you know, running organizations that have been uh, you know, uh we're working towards uh the the very goal that they're Anyway, explain it to us, Jeremy. Now, there's two things I think I understand that uh from what I understand that people are pissed off about. Okay. The first is the group of people that they talk that he talked to. These are not people that are well liked in the free speech community. Free speech community is a lot of heavy lifting in that term. Wow, boy. Wow. Wow. I think it was like 60 seconds ago you're like, "Well, we definitely need to get this one guy out of his role because of uh, you know, the things that he says." Ah. For a lot of good reasons. The second is that there isn't any real light at the end of the tunnel of bringing back people uh, that were, you know, many believe were unfairly banned. Not Ooh. necessarily just like banned, uh, you know, for breaking terms of service, but, you know, people like PV, people like Babylon B, et cetera. Babylon B never got fucking banned. All they have to do is delete an offending, an offending tweet that broke the rules. That's all they have to do. And they refuse to do it. That's it. I don't know who PV is. Probably could have been reinstated day one, regardless of whether or not Elon knew the code or Elon's team had seen the code. I think that that's fair. Elon could have came in and said, who handles bannings and unbannings? Here's a list. Unban these people. Uh huh. And maybe there were some less inflammatory ones like PV and Babylon B, I think wouldn't have been as big of a deal. Uh, there's the doctor I can't think of. Yeah, I don't I don't know who the fuck he's talking about. I, I don't know who PV is. Um, I mean, honestly, I think, I think it's good that the Babylon Bee isn't on Twitter because it actually, it, it actually is the antithesis to humor and it just kind of sucked all the oxygen out of the, the site is, uh, uh do, 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 do. you know, stuff like that. Trump obviously would have been a bigger deal, but I digress. And I think people are right to say that, you know, my, my, my position is coming from a position of somebody who, you know, I want to be careful. Like, I'm not trying to dump on people for f being a little blackpilled. But what I am trying to do is provide some level of perspective here. Okay. These two. I would love to hear your perspective. I would love for you to actually tell me what the defense is against this from, from the perspective of, of based Groiper Chad 69. Two tweets are bad. Okay but also expectations on the right and in the center are ridiculous. Um, 
this guy walked into a building with 8,000 employees. Most of them hate him. Yeah. And people are like, why didn't he just do this already? Why didn't he do that already? Why didn't he do this already? Yeah. How could he? He owns it, you fucking dumb shit. He literally owns it. He, 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 he is the boss. There, there's literally nothing that has to be done except for him to say, yeah, the Babylon Bee, one of his favorite, his, one of his favorite Twitter accounts. It really is. He loves the Babylon Bee. He's been on their show several times. He could literally go in and be like, yeah, unban the Babylon Bee. Do it now. He could do it. He could totally do it. It's going to take weeks for those Tesla engineers to get through that code. I think they have till the... I don't think you understand that the, the, the people who code Twitter are still there. <laughs> what the fuck? Seventh? That's like two weeks? And then maybe he can start making changes. I also believe that all the people claiming that, oh, shadow banning's better, this or that's better. I don't know necessarily if that's true. It seems like some days it is, some days it isn't. He goes on to say, Twitter's Content Moderation Council will include representatives with widely divergent views, which will certainly include the civil rights community and groups who face hate-fueled violence. That's probably a good idea. That's that's probably a very good idea. Yeah, Tesla isn't coding Twitter. I don't know where Jeremy is getting this. Jeremy has rotted his fucking brain to the point where I, he just has to make shit up so it makes sense to him. This is so fucking interesting. Now, uh, Elon got brutally ratioed by his own people on these tweets. Oh. Uh, especially this last one. His own people. His own people. Interesting. Now, people are saying that he's conflating talking to these people, like the NAACP and ADL and stuff like that, with being on some sort of content moderation council. <laughs> the fucking cat turd is so stupid. The only people who were treated unfairly on Twitter were conservatives and anyone who dared to go against the Democrat machine talking points. Any other group could say what they wanted. You're listening to the exact people responsible for this BS. My God, fire them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and the one right under it is a fucking uh, is uh, is an anti vaxxer and talking about Robert Malone, Jordan Peterson, Tommy Robinson, and James O'Keefe. Jesus fucking Christ! Um, I don't think he's saying that specifically. Uh huh. But if you are putting the ADL on there, um, <laughs> you know. I guess if you want to keep advertisers happy, you have to, but you need to have some freaking conservatives on this list. Why? <laughs> <clears throat> why? I don't know. Fucking why? I don't think it really counts to have the George Bush Center on here. You don't like So, <laughs> you know, you see a lot of people... LOL, the only people who were treated unfairly on Twitter were conservatives and anyone who dared to go against the Democrat machine talking points. Any other group could say whatever they wanted. You're listening to the exact people responsible for this BS. A fair take. <laughs> it's a fair take. Yes, cat turd giving the fair takes. <laughs> yeah, how does the Bush Center not count as conservative? <laughs> because... Because the Bush Center isn't ranting about cat boxes in schools, okay? That's why. That's why. Many did not violate t the people. Many of these people didn't violate Tim's or service. They only reported events, spoke about the poke, side effects. Some of them most renowned, like Dr. Malone or Jordan B. Peterson. Well, he wasn't banned. Um, right. And Tommy Robinson, James O'Keefe. I would agree that there were people that didn't break terms of service and seemed like they were banned for political reasons that Elon could reinstate sooner. Mm. And with the midterm elections coming up, people are rightfully pissed off about getting told that it's going to take a few more weeks. <laughs> They're also rightfully told. I, mean, I don't know if you guys notice this or not, but Elon Musk does not actually give that much a shit about a politics. Not really. Um. The rightful, rightfully mad. The wait, did he say the whitefully? Wow, hang on, was that quite a slip? About getting told that it's going to take a few more weeks. They're also rightfully told. Okay. Um, 
the rightful, whitefully mad. Whitefully mad. Whitefully mad. Damn, Jeremy. Whitefully mad. That he's immediately talking to all the, basically all the <laughs> who's who of censorship on the internet. The audacity of the caucasity. Who? <clears throat> the fact of the matter is, Elon has to talk to these people. He has no, he has no choice. He has to talk to these people. Oh. Until such a point where Twitter does not have to rely on advertising revenue. Okay. Mm -hmm. He also didn't say, I'm listening to them. He just said, I talked to them. Okay. Understand that Elon buying Twitter does not change the power structure of the entire internet. Yeah. Still, yeah. organizations like those listed wield a lot of power in terms of uh, controlling advertising dollars through social pressure. Elon buying Twitter yeah. does not change that. True. Yeah, true. Um, ultimately, if, tw if Elon can monetize Twitter through Twitter Blue and through... <laughs> he's going to need a lot more, obviously, than that. Yeah. Then he becomes less reliant on advertisers. So in no way am I supporting this, okay? But I'm saying I understand. Mm. I, I just don't... I, I get frustrated when I see this, like, why are you even talking to them? Blah, 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 blah. Because if he didn't, the ADL and then NAACP would put out statements saying, Elon doesn't want to work with us. He's obviously pro-hate speech, blah, 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 blah. And then MasterCard would pull all their advertising and Ford would pull all their advertising. Yep. And Chevy would pull all, pull all the advertising. See, there already is some some corporations that are saying that they will they're considering pulling their advertising from Twitter. And then you've got conservative politicians saying that we should boycott them. It's very strange. Uh it's it, like I <laughs> I mean whatever. Do whatever the fuck you want, I suppose. Also, why does he have this is painful.mpg? Saved on his tabs down there. What is this is painful.mpg or mp4? I bet it's a ball busting video. Are you into ball busting, Jeremy? Is that what this is? Coca Cola would pull all their advertising, Honda would pull all their advertising, and he would lose hundreds of millions of dollars overnight. Uh huh. He has to play the game at least for some period of time. The fact that he just bought the platform doesn't, I mean, doesn't really fix anything. Yeah. Also, he's got about 4,000 people to lay off. He's got to trim the fat big time. This is like buying a terrible <laughs> cut of meat. <laughs> I like I like how this is supposed to be Jeremy defending Elon. And basically, this whole video is like, Elon has completely fucked up. This is a bad situation, and Elon fucked up really bad. <laughs> this is so fucking great, dude. Oh, my God. Like the worst brisket you ever bought. Once he cuts their operating expenses in half, uh -huh. you know, they set the, you know, cut the calorie, the salary by $50 million a year, $100 million a year. That also gives him more freedom to move. However, again, I am not saying I'm pumped to see him talking to these people. But I'm saying he has to. And a lot of people are very, very upset with him. And I'm curious, too, because the, the, this is like the title of this video is Elon Musk Slam by Tim Pool, Benny Johnson and more. I want to see their tweets, man. Show me their tweets. I'm not going to go look for them. Fuck those people. You know, very upset with him. OK. No, oh, there's Benny, Benny Johnson. Johnson. The only people ever attacked or structurally taking advantage of on Twitter were conservatives. Bullshit. Bullshit. And it came from the far left Twitter staff. Bullshit, dude. Name a single account on the left that was censored or wrongfully deplatformed. Mine? Five times? What the fuck? I know so many fucking people who are on the left who have lost their fucking Twitter accounts and shit for the dumbest fucking things. Things that are like not even remotely close to some of the shit that like people get away with, especially if they just had like a blue check mark. Oh my god. Oh my god. Fucking A. Yet your friends the Babylon B are still locked out. Again, Benny Johnson, follow him, like the account, but it's been four days. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he could let the Babylon B back on immediately if he wanted to. Just admitted conservative Jeff. <laughs> Walked in the door late Friday afternoon. I assume some people work Saturday and Sunday, but they may not have even worked Saturday and Sunday. It is 
Elon literally says that he works every fucking day. And it, like, it's it, not, nah, come on, man, just shut up. Is now at this time when he was tweeting this stuff out Wednesday morning, mm -hmm. he's getting mm -hmm. immense pressure from all sides. Mm -hmm. I am not, again, people will still see this video as like, I'm not trying to simp for the guy. I'm just saying I've been through corporate acquisitions. Oh, you're, you're just like Elon, really. If you really think about it, him and Elon are just the same. And he knows exactly. And it, it is, this is a simp video. It absolutely is. Oh, yeah. Benny Johnson is a plagiarist. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing changes in four days. Usually what happens is the acquisition happens months before anyone ever even knows. I mean, you're replacing a CEO. You're repl I mean, you're replacing a board of directors. You're replacing it's been four days. Mm-hmm. This is not a good sign, and I think Elon really needs to consider doing some good faith stuff. Like, I don't know, just coming in and restoring the Babylon Bee and restoring, you know, a couple of small accounts or, you know, making a formal announcement about getting rid of shadow events, you know, because here at Chicago, Glenn, this person, Elon always responds to them. I, I'm not sure exactly who they are, um, but like, They've tweeted several times about their shadow bannings in various states. It's because I don't believe that any real shadow bans have actually been listed. Listed? I think most of what listed? people are experiencing is coincidence. I don't believe that Twitter has changed anything in the code yet. Okay. Because I don't believe they've been. it would have even been possible by now. Who knows how much code these developers had to go through, but they've had... None. None. They don't have to go through any code. Why do they need to go through any code? The code exists, and the people who wrote the code are still working there. Hours only. Um, and they didn't have any kind of head start. This is so cope, dude. This is so, so fucking So this is cope. very concerning. Holy shit. This is shit. a part of the old structure that Twitter still needs to play ball with. <laughs> um, that's very concerning to see this stuff, and I understand why people are pissed. And I'm hoping that Elon does get, you know, make some time to provide some good faith stuff today instead of worrying about charging for blue check marks that's like no, number 500 on the list of things that are important to most people you can support someone like i support him uh but also i think it's fair to, to call out uh questionable behavior did you really I just hope you enjoyed this did you really just name drop tim pool in the title but not even show one of his tweets video if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe shut the fuck up come on man that was absolute limp dick that was so limp dick. Oh my God. Yeah, there we go. There we go. There's the thumbnail. There's the thumbnail. That's brilliant. Beautiful. Well, look, man, it's very simple. Uh, yeah, they're melting down. They're melting down. And I don't know why everybody kept on being like, yeah, this is a great idea. Everything's going to be fucking great. I mean, sure, Elon has the capacity to entirely throw all checks and balances out. And everything can get totally fucking stupid. One thing that absolutely has happened are people are people are emboldened because they're like, we have free speech now. And they're fucking and what they're using their free speech for is to uh say the N-word a lot. <laughs> it has it has definitely gone up. Um but at the same time, like yeah, Elon is still beholden to the fact that he wants to make money. If you think for one fucking moment that Elon Musk it will choose free speech over money, you're wrong. The only reason why it looks that way right now is because he's also not a very good businessman unless he's trying to game the system and pump and dump stocks. That's how he knows how to get rich. But as far as like business acquisitions like this, this was not a smart move. It was very dumb. And now he's kind of fucked. So I... <sighs> Was the video eight minutes long? Nah, it was 13 minutes long. Yeah. Imagine if they get the N-word trending. I think some of them are trying, man. Some of them are trying. Anyway, yep. Well, thanks, Jeremy, for uh, probably the most limp dick uh, defense of Elon I've ever heard. This was a simp video, and it was fucking embarrassing. Um, yeah, good job.